Welcome back to Kings Weekly. Let's wrap up our Coffee with Bob bonus clips by joining Bob Miller and Nick Nixon one more time at the Source Cafe in Hermosa Beach. You had a decision to make too. Uh, okay, you take the job, but you're living in New Haven, Connecticut, and your wife and you and a small yeah, baby boy, yeah, Nicholas, yeah. and you've got to leave them and say, "I'm going to California." I'm going to. And you had? Did you have any idea when they were going to be able to come out and join you? Well, uh, having, like I said earlier, I had never been west of Ohio in my life. <laughs> I get the job with the Kings, and I fly out in November, and. Um, then on two or three off days, I think we had a home stand of three or four games when I first joined you. Um, and on those off days, I, I talked to the people at the forum and I said, where do I look for a place to live? Yeah. So uh, they gave me a rented car and I, and I spent two or three days uh, in the beach areas, in the valley, and it was like sticker shock for me uh, because <laughs> the rents even back then were like, Five fifty, six hundred dollars a month, and it wasn't until after the holidays that year that uh, Carolyn came out. I found a place in Fox Hills, and a complex that was owned by Dr. Jerry Buss. Yeah. And thankfully, and I look back on it, I mean we had, we got forty percent off our rent. <laughs> so I got an apartment in Fox Hills, and then as we move our stuff into the apartment, I'm looking around the corner, and there's Scott, there's Ron, there's the coach Don. Like half the people that work for the Kings yeah. or, or the Forum that weren't house owners were renting from yeah. Dr. Jerry yeah. Buss to take advantage of the great rate. So, yeah. Sometimes it's hard to explain what your emotions were in those final minutes when you knew it's definite now. There, there's yeah. no comeback here. This is That's gonna right. Be, That's right. This is going to be a Stanley Cup. Yeah, and I've been asked, I'm sure you have too, uh, were you emotional? Yeah. And, and I look back and I said, you know, to be honest with you, no, I wasn't. Because I still, when the game was over, I still was broadcasting. Uh, Daryl Evans, my partner, was down on the ice and he was doing some interviews. We still had the post game. So I didn't have time to get emotional. I mean, I remember doing the, the yeah. fist pump yeah. when I said the Kings have won the Stanley Cup when the clock was 0-0-0. But to get emotional, I, I couldn't. We yeah. had the post-game show extended because of all the on-ice interviews, the cup coming out yeah. at Center Ice with, with Commissioner Bettman, and then we do the talk show, which was extended. Um, so in the moment, uh, I, I wasn't emotional. I, I, I was, not to say I wasn't feeling elated, yeah. uh, obvious, right. Was, right. but I, I, from, from wh where I was sitting, I just didn't have time. I, I was thinking about where are we going next with this? But it was tough. I found it tough not to get emotional about it as I realized this is going to happen. Oh, it's, it's the it's happiest I've ever been after a King's win, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> Another exciting moment, the miracle on Manchester, and you were there, and it was right just a, a little over a year after my you first started. playoff series. Yeah. My first playoff series right. in the NHL. Yeah, it's interesting because going back to my first year, when I joined the team after the season had started in, in, in November of 1981, the first game was at home with Detroit. And as you know, when the Kings played Detroit back then with Marcel Dion on the Kings, yeah. you knew Marcel was going to have a, a great night. I know. And he had four goals. Yeah. The Kings won that game 8-1, to one, my first broadcast. So I'm going, this is going to be pretty good to watch Marcel like this every <laughs> night. And the Kings are going to win all these games. Uh, so that was the start of my, my first season. And then the first playoff series was the, that Edmonton series. Yeah. and. Uh, it's interesting because I was talking uh, with uh, someone the other day about that year, that playoff year. The miracle on Manchester game was uh, something that you and I had never seen before. We probably won't, probably see, won't again. see it again. You're Still right. the greatest comeback in Stanley Cup playoff history. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, I, I remember. And then you're, you're setting it up. The all-rookie line is out there. Smith with Bozak and Evans. And, and then my expert color analysis was, Oh! <laughs> On the draw, shot by Evans, he's going! Oh! <laughs>